few seconds before you sit down. Okay, let me then. find sex about women um <clears throat> mainly like women's hair it's always nice i was in ireland i, I travel a lot and uh being in ireland's just uh i like i like uh irish accent on a on a woman come on down and we'll take you to the guinness factory factory um the first performance i ever did um was a love story between two mimes. God, that girl was beautiful. I don't remember her name. <laughs> Beatrice, I think. Beatrice? No, I started with a B. Ben. Ben. Uh, biggest influences. Uh, definitely, I was probably eight, I think, was my earliest memory. And that was, I went through this huge uh, Klaus Kinski phase. So I used to drive down uh, to the local video store and just get my hands on, you know, anything, any any Kinski that they had. They didn't have much, but I like I like the idea that he just disappears. I mean, I feel like in some of his films, I, I didn't even know whether he's actually in them or not. It was just like the movies were in the Kinski section, but I think I mean I'm sure he was in there, but nah, <laughs> I can't. No, nah, I don't. I don't. I don't do just mime like when you know whenever. It just sort of, you gotta, this is the right time and place. It just seems like a little, Casablanca was always a big one. Uh, <clears throat> just the love story, because the plane and the, it's always, because um, Orson Welles, that to me was, you know, that's acting. You know, that's like, that's where you learn, that's where you do, that's where you go to work and you, and you get work done, you know? Bern, Bernice, Bern, Bernadette. What's your name, sweetheart? No, that wasn't it. There's the scene in Lady and the Tramp where uh, there, I think it's two dogs, and they um, they have this thing with the uh, spaghetti that they they both put it in their mouths, <laughs> and they so. <laughs> They uh they suck this spaghetti into each, into each other's mouths. Oh, <laughs> that just gets me every time. Um, some of my early stuff in mime school or whatever. It's probably easier if I just sh show or whatever. Or whatever. I don't know if it picks. If it got it. Favorite five non-musical sounds. Uh, yeah, number one. The hardest parts about acting is when two worlds collide, meaning my life and fiction. It's so the non-fiction fiction aspect ratio. When you have a happy scene to do, sometimes you feel sad and you have to let that go. That kind of makes a sound I use this. You put them back in. Or for instance, I did this uh, Holocaust movie, and I had to be starving, obviously. And I just, I ate a breakfast burrito right before it. And uh, you can't, you can't carry that baggage with you. Uh, Carol, Carol does not start with a B. Brando, Brando, Brando. 